this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk all about how to get started with iMovie on your Mac. How to set up your project and import your clips. So this tutorial is for anybody who's brand spanking new to using iMovie to edit your videos. Now before we get into all of the nitty gritties of iMovie, I want to invite you to download my free printable. If you're editing an iMovie for the very first time or you're just maybe a little bit lost in how this whole video editing thing works, then grab my free one page printable. It's just a real quick guide for anyone that's using iMovie for the very first time. You can find a link to that in the description below this video or when you're done watching the video, you can go over to vidpromom.com slash iMovie guide. Okay, let's hop over to my Mac and get this thing rolling. So before I get started here in iMovie, I just wanna show you real quick how I move my um, video files from my uh, memory card up here on the right over to my hard drive. So um, the this window here on the right, this is what's inside of my memory card, what's on my memory card. And then over on the left, this is my 2017 folder, which is inside of my pictures folder on my hard drive. I always move my video files directly to my hard drive. That's where I edit them from. And then when I'm done editing, if I want to save the originals, then I will move them to my external hard drive. Um, that's just the way I do it. I don't use a program or anything to import and organize um, my files because I use a bunch of different editing programs to do my tutorials and to, to try different programs and stuff. So I always do this manually. So over here in this folder here, um, you can see that we have a couple of still images. Oh, that's me trying out my new GoPro. <laughs> so we have some still images and I'm looking for the footage from a recent, let's see, I'm looking for footage from a recent snow day that we had where we went sledding. So this would have been March 19th. So you can see since, since this is GoPro footage, I have these LRV files and THM files. I don't need to do anything with those. I don't need them. Those are just um, thumbnail files and um, they make it so that you can review your footage on your phone and things like that. So I don't need those. I need these MP4 files. And so usually what I'll do is I'll just come through. I'm holding down the command button on my keyboard and selecting just the mp4 files from this march 19th day where we went sledding we'll come through here and then i'm just going to drag these over to my march folder on my hard drive so that's how i get my um, footage from my memory card into my hard drive so that i can edit it Okay, so I have iMovie opened here and what you're seeing is all of my projects, which there is only one. So what we're gonna do is create a new project. Um, we're gonna hit this big plus button. We're gonna hit movie. And now I have a nice blank project. Um, so we're gonna show you how to import your media and create some events over here. So um, in your on the left hand side in iMovie, there's this thing called iMovie Library. And this is kind of where you can organize your footage a little bit. So I have some footage from 2014 here, some from December 2014. I have some from a slideshow tutorial that I did. So I want to make a movie about a, a snow day that we had recently and where we went sledding. So, um, up here under my movie, we're gonna hit import media. And I'm going to find here on my, let's come to under Meredith. On my hard drive, I have a pictures folder and then I have 2017 and then I have March 2017. So these are um, some GoPro files from a sledding day that we had. So I'm just gonna select the first one and then hold down shift and select the last one so that they all are selected. Or you could hit command A and that would do the same thing and then hit import all. So that's going to import these clips that are already on my hard drive. They're already on my hard drive. They're gonna import them. So you can actually preview them with this, if you can see the little orange bar, I'm kind of um, scrubbing through these to kind of preview it 
at my own pace. And then if you want, you can just set that bar down. And just if you hit your space bar, you can press play and kind of watch it from there. So, so these are your clips that you have imported. Now, if you're going to edit them into a really awesome, fun to watch video, you're going to have to drag them down to your timeline. And it's literally as simple as clicking and dragging down to your timeline. Now that you have it here, you can drag others down along with it, say like that. And you can, oop, there's me sledding. And down here on the timeline is where you would do all of your basic um, editing stuff. So you have all of your editing tools and things up here and, um, and all that kind of good stuff. And then you can, right now this is saved as my movie. So if you want to save it as its very own project so that you can come back to it later and edit it more later, um, you could just go hit this back, this back button here for the projects and just save it. Or we'll call this sledding March. 2017 and hit okay and then um, you'll have it here in your project so you can always just go and open this up and you'll have all your footage you'll have what you have edited so far you can add more footage into it if you want to completely up to you there so that's how you start a new project with iMovie and import your clips and get them down there onto the timeline where you can edit them and then save the whole thing so that you can come back to it later and edit it some more. So don't forget about that iMovie guide. It's a one page and I created it just for iMovie newbies. So if that sounds like you, you can head over to vidpromom.com slash iMovie guide and download it there. Plus I'll put a link in the description below this video. And if this video was helpful for you, Give it a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And leave a comment and let me know if you have any questions about editing your videos in iMovie and I will be happy to come back and answer them. Thanks, bye.